Witam ponownie na moim kanale. Welcome back to my channel. This is my mini series what I love most about Poland. And what I love most about Poland is the Obwarzanek Krakowski. Obwarzanek is a ring of bread similar to a pretzel or bagel and it is coated in sesame seeds, salt, poppy seeds, or cheese. These obwarzanki are sold from street carts all over Krakow. This unique pretzel has a protected geographical indication granted by the EU, the European Union. This protection also indicates that when you buy an Obwarzanek Krakowski, you know it is the legitimate, authentic one, made in Krakow exclusively. And so in that way, other towns or other cities cannot replicate that same recipe for a commercial purpose and they cannot sell it legally because it doesn't have that stamp of approval. So what does it taste like? Well, it has more of a sweet than savory taste because of the process in which it is made, which is the parboiling process. The word obwarzanek comes from the verb obwarzać, which means to parboil, as in boiling the dough before it is officially baked. So the Obwarzanek Krakowski is also handmade. And so once that dough is in its proper form, the ring form, it is then boiled in water and then it is placed in a, on a baking rack. And that's how it gains its very specific texture and crispiness on the outside. Every day, 150,000 obwarzanki are sold not only to tourists, but to Krakowianie, the people who live in Krakow. Mm, why do I love the Obwarzane Krakowski? Well, ever since I was a child, I remember my family would take me to the Rynek Krakowski, which is the center of town in Krakow, and we would get these inexpensive snacks. The Obwarzanki have a very short shelf life, so within a few hours they become more and more stale, so it's very important to enjoy them as soon as you can. I actually have memories of taking the older obwarzanki, the ones that are more stale, and feeding them to the gołębie, the pigeons, which the pigeons themselves are a bit of a famous attraction in Kraków, so I recommend that you go and check them out. I also remember, you know, running through town with my aunt and we were hungry, but we still had, we were waiting for dinner, so we thought, okay, well, let's just grab an obwarzanek on the way to go. The obwarzanek Krakowski is so unique and culturally relevant to the city of Krakow that it's been used as a marketing campaign. There's even a museum for the Obwarzanek Krakowski. You should check it out. I'll link it in the description box. Now, while this Obwarzanek Krakowski has an EU stamp of protected geographical indication, and therefore meaning not everyone can just go and sell it, its recipe dates all the way back to the 14th century. And so that recipe has remained the same. The Polish housewife has a recipe for the Obwarzanek Krakowski. I'm linking it in the description box. She also has plenty of authentic Polish recipes. And so if you're interested in other Polish authentic recipes, I would definitely check out her website. I hope you enjoyed this episode on the Obwarzanek Krakowski. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Do widzenia.